hi guys good morning and welcome back to another vlog oh my god i don't know what's wrong with this train like i usually start my vlog from here when i'm going out and this train always makes noise so guys before we get into today's video please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so now thank you so much and please also remember to like and drop your comments and all that so guys basically today i'm going for an interview have you ever seen someone that is going for a job interview but they don't have their brp yet that's me so like i told you guys i've been applying for a job but whenever they call me for interview i back out because up to now i've not received my brp card yet and you know i told you that i think i'm working too fast you know i told you that UKVI finally responded to my email they said they will send it so i'm still waiting for them to send it but this particular job i just randomly applied for it and they called me yesterday being sunday being sunday and asked if i'm available for interviews i said yes i am so yeah here i am i'm going and the reason why i even want to go is that there was this other interview i missed the other time because i didn't have that beer picker so when the guy told me i should come for interview i now sent him an email that i'm sorry i can't make this because i don't have my beer picker yet but i have a copy of my passport and my visa so he still told me i should come anyway but i didn't see the email on time so even after i said later on when i saw the email i later sent him a message and he said okay that they will reschedule me and that one is for tomorrow so i just want to go in person and see if i can explain my situation to them and if it will work so i'll let you guys know how it goes by the way <laughs> this is what i look like i'm walking down to the bus station you can see it's raining and the place is an hour from here so i'm going to take you guys with me i'll let you know how it goes in case you're wondering it's a care walk by the way you know yeah man has to do what man has to do the rate of naira to dollar now is very alarming i think after today is 1005 naira to one pound that's crazy so someone needs a job man yeah so that's that on that guys <sighs> oh my god i'm running out of breath I'm at Piccadilly guys now. Remember the other day I showed you this place when we were going to Trafford Center. So I think the place I'm supposed to take the bus is the same place I took the bus the other day. So I'm walking there now. I'll turn my camera around so you see what it looks like. I'm here making a video. Let me quickly go and find this my boss. 
Ah, c'est bon, c'était. whatever reason i missed i missed my way now i'm walking back to the place and it's already 12 of four and the interview is scheduled for 12 30 and it's um 20 minutes walk from here so hopefully i get there on time so yeah whenever you're going for an interview just try and go early in case you miss your way you'll be able to walk back or whatever like and my battery is even low i don't know why <sighs> see you guys later hi guys so i just came out from the interview place it went very well the guy <laughs> he said he really wants to hire me at ball because of my brp stuff that i should try and get a share code so that he can proceed proceed with my this thing that meanwhile there's an induction next week that if i can provide the um, brp the share code on my PRP card that he'll be more than happy so I should email him he also gave me a form to fill for the GPS stuff it's going really well I'm going to gist you guys when I get home my battery is very low very very low I have to go now bye hi guys good morning <laughs> welcome back to another vlog um I think today is Tuesday it was yesterday I went for interview so today is Tuesday. I'm just waking up. Like, oh my god, guys. I'm laughing at myself. Like, who goes to an interview? I was so tired, guys. When I came back, I was super, super tired. I went to bed. I'm just waking up. I'm not laughing at myself. Like, I've not even started working, though. And <laughs> I'm this tired. Imagine when I'm not start working. Like, will I work for a day and sleep? Or the, like, all through the next day? It's so funny, like I'm so tired. Ah, as if I want to carry heavy load. <laughs> so guys, welcome back. How are y'all doing? Hope you are doing fine. You know, I promised I was going to ask you guys how everything went because my battery was low. I didn't charge my phone before leaving the house yesterday and it's my phone I used to record. So my battery was low. And I can't even remember all the stuff the the man asked me yesterday. I can't even remember it again. Almost uh, people that have been staying in this country are trying. I'm so tired. And it's not like okay, from where I stayed to where I went to yesterday, it was one hour twenty minutes, yeah. Like I told you guys that he offered me the job. He said he wants to give. He really wants to hire me, but I don't have a BRP card. Like it's so unheard of. I don't know if you have ever experienced it, because honestly, my case is the first case that I don't have a BRP card, and I should provide my share code. I came back yesterday. I tried to provide the share code. I went to. Um, UK gov website 
I searched how to um, get a share code to get a share code that if you if you apply for a visa from a VAC center you will not be able to get a share code that you need your biometric number biometric card number number to get the share code I even had to call them I even had to call them and it was they said I have to wait for the VRP card in order to get a share code so I want to send the guy an email now and tell him like the update let me not let me not just ignore him I'll tell him that I was not able to get the share code and all that so he should please give me more time he said the induction is next week so yeah hopefully if everything goes well I should be able to attend the induction and according to him that he have done that whole hiring someone without a VIP card and it was a whole lot of stress that he will not want to you know try something like that again but I'm going to, so I'll, I'll see back in chat. I'll send him an email to ask for more time. To ask for more time. Meanwhile, I also have another interview on Thursday. That's it though. I'm going to make a sit down video that I'll attach to this video talking about how the, um, the questions I was asked and how I've been applying for the job. And all that. So I want to make breakfast right now. See you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. So as promised, this is the job application video. How my interview went yesterday. Honestly, like it's not really a big deal. Like everything went well, and yeah, like I told you guys that they offered me the job, but under the condition that I'll have to provide my VRP card or the what's it called share code. So I'm still waiting for it. Hopefully it comes um before the induction. So yeah. Basically the question that I was asked during the interview was I should tell them about myself. I'm very passionate about care. I like showing compassion, which was what led me to, you know, based on my previous role as a um, healthcare assistant in my home country how i you know i just narrated all those experiences in a short sentence so he was like okay that what do i know about their company so i was like I, I understand that the company you know supports their employee their after um employee job um satisfaction like you should be you should you should be um be proud, be caring, be kind, be this, be that, like all those stuff that I read on their this in their vision and mission statement. I just rephrased it in a simple term. Then they also asked me that okay, what do I understand by be proud? Like be proud of care work or your this thing, your job role. So I was like, I understand that it means you know you should focus on the positive side of care. Sorry, the fact that other people will get to, you know, live a better life, you know, with your assistance and all those things. I also asked that I should um, talk about a situation where I was kind. I also narrated a story of how, you know, I left school at some point. I went to take care of my grandfather who was sick, that de despite it being a difficult situation for me, that I... I I did it anyway since I know that this is something that's going to, you know, help this person at this point. So yeah. Then he also um, there was this very tricky tricky question that I was asked that um what will I do if I realize I'm about to be late for work? That what will I do? And I told myself, you know, being late for work is you you cannot be late for work. You guess. Even if I'm going to be late for work, you know something I'll start telling the employer that say I'll call you, I'll call them and tell them I cannot come. So I was like, I understand that it's very important for me to show up at work like it's I can't compromise that. So if like I'll try my possible best not to be late for work, but if at all I see myself in a situation where I'm going to be late for work, that instead of going by bus, I'm going to take a taxi and get to work as soon as I can. I was like, mm, okay, then 
okay now i think that i might available to work on monday i say this on tuesday i say yes wednesday i say yes. now both start laughing like that like, is it possible that i'll be available every day i say yeah i'm available to work full time yeah i say okay that do i know that they also work during public holidays bank holidays you know and all those things that do i would will i have any objection to working during those time i was like before i applied for this job i understand that um it's a flexible um role that is, yeah that i can be called in at any time so i'm always available for this thing when i get the job then we'll rearrange how i'll be coming to work for now yeah i'm available so that was that so after the whole conversation he asked me over 10 questions these are the ones i can even remember he asked me a lot of questions well i thought to myself like even if i don't answer them in that all those um uh, what is it called aspire to perspire manner of you know, use all those big english let me answer it in my own um in the way my to the best of my knowledge so yeah i responded and all that at the end of the day he was like he's very impressed with the way i answered my questions and that he can see that i'm a very caring person i don't know yeah so that what will happen is that he's going to give me the form for this employment form i should go home and seal everything and then i'm going to return it back then that the induction is next week or that he cannot proceed to do the dbs check and induction without um without my brp card so that he's, they are going to wait for the BRP card and see how it goes from there. Like he's going to give me a week to provide it so they can go ahead with employment. So yeah, that was it basically. And I said, okay, no problem. I'm going to try to provide it. He also asked me for a share code. I tried to get the share code online, but I read that if you applied for a visa outside the UK, that you will not be able to get a share code you get. So I even called home office. They told me that I should use. Them. Well, it has. It's been a lot of stress. Honestly, I'm beginning to feel frustrated, but it's fine. Whichever way, it eventually come here, and there are lots of jobs out there. Even if um this doesn't work out, but I hope it works out. But I believe that the time is to keep this stuff is working. Okay, there are lots of jobs out there. I can always reapply and you know stuff like that. The only reason why I like this work is because is um, a community support worker and from what i heard like it's not so stressful you know you get to go out with your um, is it residents or client yeah whatever you get to go out with them and stuff like that you know it's not this hands-on um care work so yeah and aside from this job i also have another interview for on thursday i'm still going to apply uh, and go for that one and see how it turns out that i'm still applying for jobs so now let's get into the part of how i've been applying for job what i did was you know um when i came you know i wrote my cv and i started applying but my advice for you is if you have if you are yet to come to the uk or you're already in the uk and you're looking for job and you're looking for an easier way to get multiple job offers so this is the tip i'll give you first of all you need to decide on where you want to work because there are many jobs out there they are care work they are customer service they are marketers and all those things i remember when i came also because my cv has a care experience and marketing experience and sales experience rather so i also applied for some care work and i also and um, i say care work i got some marketing job but when i read about the company their reviews you know that you have to go from door to door persuading people to you know talking about talking to people educating people about their product and all that I was like, this is not for me because I don't want a kind of job that I will go and come back and be burnt out. I'll not be, you know, able to take care of my child and family. So, yeah, I didn't want something that's going to exhaust me because I also saw that some people would say, okay, you go to the place as, um, from 8 a.m. and you'll come back maybe around 10, 30 p.m. Even if they are paying you for this, like, it's going to be really stressful. So, as a dependent or whatever, you need to consider all of this like what type of work do you want to do do you want to work remotely do you want to be you know going out and all that so after that after deciding on what type of work you want to do i'll advise you and um, write your cv in a very professional way i'm sure you must have heard that you know there's a way 
you write your CV like this, this thing will pick up those words and it will suggest it to your potential employer. So it's better you, you know, if you cannot write a professional CV, you can get someone to write it for you. The name is um, myperfectcv.co.uk. I think you just pay two pounds and you have access to it. You'll be able to write as much CV as you want and in a very professional way. Like if you put in customer services, you bring out all the experience, the skill and all those things. You just copy it and paste it on your CV and that's it. It even has templates and all that. So if you cannot um, write it yourself, just get some, um, you can use these um, services to just write those that CV. Another tip is when you are writing this CV, make sure you are not jumping from one work to another because employers don't want to see you jumping like, okay, you did this role for three months and you went to another company, you left there again, you went, like, let it not be, if at all, let it not be like maybe more than two, and two places or three places that you have worked, like, show that you have been on a particular role in a particular company for a very long time. That way, if you show them that, okay, this person will stay for long like it's going to be worth employing this person this person is not the kind of person that will be moving from one company to another like maybe if you finish up employing them after three months they will move to another job because if you if you have even noticed there are some jobs that you get they will say what was the reason for leaving the job and all those things so you can just say relocation and all those things so that way they will be convinced that this person is going to stay with us for long so another thing you want to do is after writing this CV, please make sure you have the experience for the required role. If you are applying for a care work, please go online, watch videos, do trainings, so that by the time these people will call you for the interview, you like what you said, what you wrote on your CV, you'll be able to defend it. So make sure you have ex like you read about it, have knowledge about the role. We are applying for if you're applying for a sales job go online and read about roles of a sales assistant a sales representative a customer service like make sure you have experiences um, i say experience you have knowledge about the role you are watching you are you are applying for so after that after writing your cv you know um start reading about the, the role don't even stop like just keep educating yourself about this role so that because this is what will even make you feel more confident on the day of your interview this will make you feel more confident so yeah after that you want to apply and you want to install some of the apps where you'll be able to apply for these jobs easily the number one app i recommend is indeed there's indeed there's total job i'm going to write them out on the screen there's indeed there's total jobs there's read you install all these apps from your Apple Store or Play Store, wherever. You have them on your phone. You upload your CVs accordingly, like you, um, what is it called? You edit your profile, put in your name, your um, contact number, and all that. Then you upload your CV. Then you now start searching for these jobs. So let's say now you're applying for a care work. You go and, you know, support work, care work. Then you now put in your location because if you just put care work, it's going to bring out the whole care work in the UK. Or the ones that are far from where you are so you can now put your location like put it your location like me now that i'm staying in manchester whenever i'm looking for this job i put in the job title then i put in my my address so it brings out the jobs that are closer to me then also if you're applying for the job make sure you in my opinion don't apply for any job that has been posted like later than 14 days because it's very obvious that these people must have gotten someone for that role unless they state otherwise that this job is like the application is open from now to maybe end of december so that way you know you can still you can keep applying until end of december by then they will go through all the cvs that people submitted and then choose who they want to, to give but most people that are, are usually hiring are hiring urgently so whenever you're applying for looking for a job to apply for apply for jobs that were up, that were posted maybe in the last seven days in the last 14 days and all that so yeah after applying for these jobs it's okay for you to also follow up with emails you know to know the status of your application you see if you go on indeed they'll say there's this notification that you get that employers usually you are more likely to get a response if you follow up with your employer so if you feel like okay these people are not yet responding and maybe they have viewed your your application you can go ahead and send them a message to find out about the status of your application 
And another thing you want to do again is to, you know, you'll be checking your emails, you'll be picking your calls because there's every possibility that when these people see your CV, that the first thing they'll do is to dial your number. So always pick up your call. It could be your potential employer and be always be ready for interview because that's what they usually do here. Like once you pick that call, next they'll say, are you, are you um, free to talk um, right now or whatever? Next thing, they're already interviewing. They're, okay, so you said you work at so and so. Can you tell me more about it? So just always be ready to answer those calls and you know defend your CV. So another thing is after you have passed your maybe phone interview or email interview, the next thing you want to be like when you are in, invited to a physical interview, dress nicely, you know, you know, put yourself together because appearance really matters a lot. Nobody wants to employ someone that looks shabby or you know not put together. The way you dress will also tell them that okay this person is a organized person and all of that so yeah and then another thing you want to do is to attend your interview and go to your interview on time in case you miss your way or whatever just try to be there on time it also shows that this person is a punctual person like what happened to me yesterday even because i left the um home early i got lost i had to trek for i had to walk for like 20 21 minutes after the bus dropped me and I realized I missed my way, I had to walk all the way back. Imagine I got there at the exact time that like I would be panicking because I'm already late. Sorry for making this video long, guys. Like, if I say let me keep talking, we'll keep going on and on. But please bear in mind that all of this stuff I talk about is from my personal experience. Um, I, I am not an employer. I don't use from my personal experience from what I've seen so far, and I hope it helps. And maybe if you are still in the process of applying for your visa or whatever, and you know that okay, when you come to the UK, you want to start looking for a job. There's no job that is too small. That's one thing I love about this country. There's dignity in labor. You know, in Nigeria, they'll be like, oh, this person na na loma, if they do, they pack those you know. Here, there's nothing like that. There's dignity in labor. Whatever you are doing like be proud of it which is how it's supposed to be i don't know why people look down on people because of roles and all that so once you decide on this is the work i want to do start educating yourself on that road try to gain as much knowledge as you can on that road because it's going to come in handy when it's time for you to you know get that job and then you can also go online watch videos read about what people are talking about you know you, they can, there's nothing like too much information. You can never have too much information. It's better that, okay, you are over-informed than you are misinformed. So, yeah. So, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, yeah, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. It means a lot to me. Until next time. Bye.